Oh my gosh, I procrastinate way too much. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Whatever. So, anyways, I got an NU match, and this one, uh, I was just looking through my old team, so I didn't really want to make a new one, and I didn't really have the time. So I just looked, and I'm like, oh, this team looks fun, so I picked this. And this guy from Skype wanted to battle me, so... Uh, I battled him, and I was live recording this, but like an idiot, <laughs> right when I finished, I realized that um, I didn't turn the microphone on, so I was just kind of talking to myself, but whatever, into this, looking at my team, I'm pretty sure it's a physically defensive Swampert pre-evolution Marsh Tomp, and then that banded Dodrio for the win, that is the MVP of this match. And then the Carnivine with just like a standard set, uh, defensive, whatever that's, Slowpoke, specially defensive Ampharos, and then an awesome Heat more. Looking at his team, the threats are definitely Gardevoir and the, um, Fracture if it can set up. And everything else it looks like it can handle kind of easily. And, well, maybe not the Sawsbuck, but I don't know. Whatever, let's get into this. And, alright, he was leading off this Earth Ring, and I was leading off my Marsh Tomp, just so I could get the rocks up, because he does have something weak to it, and does not have a spinner. And he sets up to plus two, and gets the, um, whatever, the guts, and that facade will easily take me out. And, um, then I just go into my Dodrio to outspeed and go for the Brave Bird. I went for the Brave Bird instead of the Return, just in case... For some reason, he wanted to go into his Lampent, and he brought into his, his Gardevoir, showing me that he's definitely Scarfed. Well, not definitely, just either bluffing it or he is. And so I went into my Ampharos to take the Thunderbolt, which was kind of obvious, or the Psychic, either way. And then um, I switched out into my Heatmore, actually predicting the Seismitoad. The reason I didn't go into my Carnivine was because I knew he had this Ozbuck, and I only have Grass moves on that. And so that was the reason I went into my heat more. And I had the shell bell on this guy, which was just kind of trolly. And I predicted him to go into his sauce buck right here with the sap sipper. So I went for the flamethrower. That was an epic prediction, but um, yeah. And so he goes into his fracture, and now I go for the snatch, and I get his dragon dance. And that's the first time that snatch has ever worked for me. Ever. And I could have gone for the snatch right here again and gotten the taunt. I think I can snatch taunt. I'm not sure. But uh, that would have been awesome too. But he just goes for the dragon dance now. And that would have been awesome if I taunted him. Because he wouldn't have outsped me right there. But I'm pretty sure an outrage from a fracture could KO me anyways. And I go to my dodrio just to go for the safe quick attack. Because he's the only thing that could take him out without receiving damage back and that crit didn't matter and I'm obviously locked into quick attack so I'm gonna switch into my special wall Ampharos and now I just go for the discharge to take out a sub and that fire blast does a ton well I think I'm not positive but I think this is my specially defensive Ampharos and right here I make a really stupid play and I go for the confuser I don't even know why I have that on this um yeah, whatever but, uh now i go for the volt switch cuz i don't want to stay in and deal with this shenanigan so i go into my dodrio and i just take it out with the brave bird i probably should uh uh volt switched on the first turn i was in there but it's whatever and so now he brings in his gardevoir and he's going to predict me to go into my ampharos which was pretty good and go for the psychic and it'll be a, a clean two hit KO. And now I'm thinking, alright, what do I have to take a psychic? I don't want to go on my slow poke because he can't do all too much back to it. So I go on my carnivine, take one. Didn't go for the sleep powder because it has early bird because it traced it. And so I just go for the um, paralyze move. And then to my surprise, I straight out take him out with... Um, a power whip or whatever, vine whip or whatever it is. And so he goes to the scald and he doesn't get the burn. And I miss just great. And here he goes to the earth power because 
Um, yeah, I don't blame him. Carnivine is not used ever, and I miss another one of those leaf moves and whatever, and he goes for the Scald, doesn't get the burn once again, and I'm finally able to hit the Power Whip and win, and that was a pretty good game, and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. I felt so stupid after I got done recording this live, and um, then it <laughs> didn't even have my voice, but what can you do? Anyways, leave me a comment telling me a Pokemon to use, and I will most likely end up using it probably in a live narration, because that's what I feel like doing. And that is my mouse, because I was trying to figure out what the name of the Sawsbuck was, because I couldn't remember. Anyways, have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.